And an anti-snoring billboard creates a buzz in Chicago's River North neighborhood. The real message behind it is causing controversy tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Don Hasbrook. Hey, and I'm Jeff Herndon. That billboard was rejected in New York City, but just a few hours ago, it went up in the River North neighborhood at the corner of LaSalle and Hubbard. Lisa Chavaria has more about what people here are saying about it. Lisa. Well, Jeff and Don, those representing the company say the ad is for an anti-snoring spray. It shows an American soldier embracing a Muslim woman. They say snoring doesn't discriminate, and neither do they. This billboard has only been up for a few hours, but it is sparking conversation in River North. I guess there's so many things going on nowadays is that you just look at it, nothing surprises you anymore. There might be a, a good amount of people that might take it yeah. offensive or something, but I don't think it's supposed to be anything really serious. The billboard is for SnoreStop, a California company selling a snore aid with an aim to keep couples together. We definitely wanted to find a polarizing couple um, that would really, um, maybe not shock, but that would be something that you don't, uh, not a couple that you normally see in mainstream advertising. Ahmed Rehab, the executive director for the Council on American Islamic Relations, has heard the stir over the ad. I'm cautiously optimistic that it's a positive image. I mean, it's not, you know, a negative image of the Muslim woman. Uh, usually, niqabis, women who wear the niqab, are subjected to negative portrayals in the media. The billboard was recently rejected by a company in New York's Times Square because of its sensitive nature. Some of the objection is that they're not really married and that really it's just models. The company's spokeswoman says the two are models, although she says Paul Evans, pictured here, is a U.S. Army soldier. The inspiration for the couple um, actually came from Paul, who one of his best friends who served with him in the Army, who had fallen in love with a Muslim woman, and we basically uh, replicated, you know, that image of you know, uh, uh, of that couple. The company says reaction to its billboard has been mixed. Some love it and others don't approve of the image. The spokeswoman says the idea is to show a couple that is not represented in mainstream media. Jeff, back to you. All right, Lisa, thank you very much. Our Facebook page, boy, it is a discussion. Al writing here, it's completely disrespectful to all of the men and women in our armed forces. It should be taken down ASAP. But Rebecca says you can't help who you fall in love with. If that person happens to be of a different faith or of the same sex, it shouldn't matter. In my opinion, rejecting this billboard is just a testament to the person's ignorance and intolerance to others.